he, he just hollered, tornado, and I hit the floor, and I said, David, I've been hit, and everything was pure black. Well, but it was not a tornado, but it certainly felt like one that hit homes here in the Delaware County community of Eaton. Take a look at that. Mm. Fortunately, nobody there was seriously injured, but as our Rich Van White found out today, there's a lot of rebuilding to be done. There were no tornado warnings or even severe weather warnings Saturday night when the storm blew through here. Luck and quick thinking kept people alive. It looks like the weather exploded over the three most damaged homes. The middle one belongs to Terry Faust. The roof lifted up and crashed down, blowing out a wall and twisting the entire structure. I kind of got lucky compared to the, my house and the house next to me. The entire roof was ripped off one neighbor's home. The owner and his son were inside. They weren't hurt, but the home is unlivable. Yeah, he just hollered, tornado, and I hit the floor. Two houses away, Dave and Cindy's house was torn apart around them. It was just unbelievable, and it, we just felt lucky to be alive. The National Weather Service believes 80-mile-an-hour winds are something called a microburst, packing explosive-like power, hit the area Saturday night, right around 9.30. And I said, my God, David, that wind is horrible. Cindy and David were in the living room watching television. And then he heard everything cracking, and he said, it's a tornado hit the floor. And I just dove out of that chair onto the floor, covered my head. and Seconds later, splintered planks fell into the chair she was sitting in. If you hadn't gotten out of that chair? Uh-huh, I know. You and wouldn't be here? My, no, we wouldn't be here. Falling debris landed on Cindy's back. She's okay. The house, though, it's a wreck. It will have to be torn down. The couple plans to rebuild. The victims are without homes for now, but they aren't without friends. Volunteers helping clean up the mess, as well as family members and friends helping them put their lives together and find new places to live. In Delaware County, Rich Van Wyk, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.